A reminder from law enforcement is to please slow down when you see emergency flashing lights and always give first responders plenty of space. And as these temperatures dip into the negatives and the snow continues to fall, experts are saying it's important to keep your pet's health in mind. Now the first step is making sure your pet has identification on them. This protection uh, is for if your pet runs away, then they can be identified in the cold. Now if it's too cold for you to stand outside, then it's also probably too cold for your pet. But you should let them run around and use the bathroom and then get them back inside as quickly as possible. Wipe off their paw pads, especially if you know, you're, let your dog play a little while. Make sure you take a warm towel, wipe off those paw pads. And if you ever suspect frostbite, if you see a different coloration, a kind of whitish gray look to your pet skin, certainly contact your veterinarian. And of course, if you can deal with the looks, you could always put a sweater on your dog to keep them warm and some booties to keep the ice out of their paws. But if your dog is anything like mine and isn't a fan of those booties, they suggest you can try to put them on inside the house to let your pet get used to them.